everyone. Welcome to Natalie Bissell Yoga. I'm Natalie and today we are focusing on back pain relief. You do need some props today. So I have a pillow, just a regular bed pillow, a bolster, or if you don't have a bolster, just grab another bed pillow, and a chair. So go ahead and go grab your props and meet me back here. So, we're not going to use these props right away, so I'm going to move them all over to the side. And we're going to start um, in Dadasana, which is seated staff pose. So, just go ahead and have a seat on your yoga mat and extend your legs long and sit up nice and tall. Now we're going to exhale and lean forward, and I'm not rounding my back a whole lot. My knees are very soft, have a little bit of a bend in them, and I'm just going to breathe right here. Now if you're super flexible, you can of course go down more, or if you're super not flexible, you can go up. So just find where your body can settle in, and we're going to take six long deep breaths in through our nose and out through our nose so here we go breathe in and slowly exhale deep breath in and exhale Keep going. Deep breath in. Exhale. One more. Deep breath in. And slowly exhale. Good. All right, go ahead and come back to a neutral spine. Observe how your back is feeling right now. We are going to use the chair and a pillow. So, I'm going to lay my bolster to the side. And I'm gonna move my chair actually on my yoga mat and with the seat facing me. And I'm just going to lay my pillow on there. We're going to do a one-legged hamstring stretch using the chair. So put your right leg through the bottom of your chair. And you're bending your left knee. Ooh, train. So bend your left knee and your left sole of your foot is to your right thigh. Don't mind the train passing through. Now you might have to find the correct distance as we get into this, but we're gonna lean forward. And my chair has spokes, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab onto some spokes here and lean my forehead on top of my pillow. Deep breath in and slowly exhale. Five more breaths, just like that one. As we're sitting here breathing, um, relax your jaw, relax your shoulders, relax your sits bones into the yoga mat. One more nice deep breath here. Slowly exhale. And release out of the pose. Now we're gonna switch. So extend your left leg long, bend your right knee. The sole of your right foot comes to your left thigh. And make sure you're positioning yourself square to your chair. So again, we're just gonna 
Release forward. Relax your forehead on the pillow here. Nice long breaths here. And as we're breathing into this pose, on your exhale, relax your muscles. Relax your shoulders and your jaw. Relax your left leg. You might be gripping in it. And relax your sits bones, both of them, square to the mat. Observe how your lower back is feeling in this posture. One more nice deep breath here. And exhale. Good. Slowly release out of that pose. Now we're gonna put both legs through your chair. And yep, you guessed it. We're gonna release forward. Feel free to bend your knees as much as you need to and relax your forehead down. Six breaths. Nice and slow, don't need to rush. Deep breath in. Slowly exhale. Keep breathing. Again, relax your shoulders, relax your muscles. Last deep breath here. And release. Good job. All right, so I think I'm done with the pillow and the chair. We'll see. So I'm going to stand up and move these out of the way off my yoga mat. your lower back is hurting I hope you brought a light chair so you don't hurt it more lifting a heavy chair okay I do want you to get your bolster or a couple of pillows stacked on each other or you could even take a big blanket and fold it into thirds so it makes like a rectangle here okay we're going to lay on top of this bolster and our shoulders and our neck and head are going to be off of the bolster. So, I'm going to try and position this correctly here. So, you might want to watch me first and then try it. So, we're laying on top of the bolster and I'm going to kind of scooch down until, yep, yeah, right there. Now, my neck, shoulders, and my head are off of the bolster. And then just relax your feet forward. Legs are outstretched. Hands and arms are down by my side. And let's just breathe here. This feels really good. Deep breath in. Slowly exhale. Two more breaths. Deep breath in. Slowly exhale.
Last one, breathe in. And release. Okay, I want you to come out of this pose very carefully. So bend your knees. And then use your elbows and your hands to come back up off of the bolster. Good. All right. We are still using the bolster, but I'm going to turn it um, perpendicular, this direction. And we're going to sit on here and prepare ourselves for waterfall. So now, <clears throat> my lower back on up, my body is going to be off the bolster. And it's really just my hips or my pelvis on the bolster. So once you've got yours turned, just kind of position yourself and lay down. Ah, this feels good as well. So in waterfall, both legs are up towards the ceiling. And once you're there, we're going to start breathing. Deep breath in. Slowly exhale. Waterfall is such a, a nourishing posture because it's draining all the blood away from your feet because we're used to being on our feet all day. So the, this um, reoxygenate reoxygenates easy for me to say new fresh blood into your feet and your legs so as we're laying here in waterfall breathing you might notice your feet or your toes starting to get a little numb that's normal so don't freak out Two more breaths. Deep breath in. Slowly exhale. Last one. So if you are a runner or a walker, this is actually a really good posture to do after you exercise. Okay, let's slowly come out of the pose. Bend your knees. Feet flat on the mat. I'm just going to push through my feet and slide my bolster out. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm going to roll forward. We have one more pose here. And this is Shavasana with a bolster. So I'm going to lay this this direction, this this time because now my head neck shoulders and back are all going to be on the bolster so how you get in position again you can use some stacked up pillows or a folded blanket so you're going to sit and push that bolster right up against you and your knees can be bent or straight out and then release down So your back, neck and shoulders are on the bolster. Release your legs long, heel to the mat. Arms are at your side, palms facing up. Shavasana, six breaths. Notice if this feels really awesome on your lower back or not so awesome. And keep breathing. Nice, so slow breaths. Feel free to pause at the top of your breath or at the bottom. There's no rush. Do 
deep breath in. Slowly exhale. Two more breaths here. Last one, deep breath in. Exhale. Now you are welcome to stay here if this feels totally awesome for you. Um, you can stay here for really as long as you would like. Um, but if you're ready to move on with your day, go ahead and sit up. And come into a nice seated cross-legged position. I hope you found this video helpful and beneficial to you and your back is feeling better. And you can check out some of my other videos for some back relief. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. God bless.